Hello everybody and welcome back to the Igor Editor. Today I am going to be doing a tutorial of how to basically of how to do a mission or how to script a mission and more specifically how to script how to script the mission so that you can complete the objectives in any order and it will still register a, com a mission complete because you can script the you can script the uh, your missions or whatever in a very linear way where it's like you just have one the final objective you set uh, that when that when that is completed it registers a mission complete but the problem with that is that if you if you just go complete that last objective and not even worry about the first couple you do then you can only you can basically just complete the mission by doing one thing where if you do it this way you can do it in any order you want and then it will uh it'll still register a mission complete so it is a lot of scripting but uh, i guess we'll just get right into it so first off you need to just make a just make a mission and i'm going to be also going over how to script objectives but only simple objectives like uh kill basically to kill a group of guys destroy a vehicle and i'm only doing that because i kind of have to do that to in order to script in order to show you how to script the uh how to complete the mission in total so uh we're just gonna completely just run through a basic mission so we're going to uh go to miscellaneous just set a zone set that to insertion and one thing i did not cover in the basics that i didn't know how to cover was how to if you make an insertion zone like this it'll make you face a certain way i didn't know how to change that but now i do if you look right here you see a little line which is the same line that you can do for actors to change their orientation and it right now it doesn't look like it now there's a tiny one it's right there where it's not dashed but basically it's the same thing you hit shift and then you uh then you left click wherever you want it to be facing and you can see the little thing turning and that's the way you'll be facing when you spawn so i figured that out and we will rename that to uh insertion zone i think i spelt that right doesn't really matter just so we know what it is so yeah that just makes a spawn right there now we will throw down i created some custom actors i guess i'll just throw them down uh, i'll just i'll just have them doing nothing over here and so these are going to be the infantry we're gonna kill uh we'll just uh kit them out quick we'll Oh, whoa. Okay, there we go. Uh, let's give this guy a grenade launcher. Probably not going to use it. Uh, um, let's give him animations. Yeah, we'll just put them all on discussing. I don't actually know what that looks like, but whatever. And uh, every time you do an animation, it uh, it uh, rotates them count uh, rotates them clockwise. So, if we want this guy to be facing this way, we need to have him go like that. If we want this guy facing this way, we need to have him like that. And if we want this guy facing up, we need to have him like that. So there we go. And our team, um, it should work. The thing, it should work for each one of these team platoon company when you script the killing but we'll just we'll just go platoon because i know i know it works for team which is the easiest way to do it but we'll just uh test out platoon i assume it'll work the exact same way as team so that's going to be our first objective and we're gonna just take a uh, mobile howitzer and put it that way 
and that is going to be our second objective. So we're going to have a, a group of three guys to kill and a tank to blow up. So yeah, we got our insertion zone, objective one, objective two. And now to actually create the tags for the objective, we go to script, objectives right here. Then we create two objectives and uh, the tag is what you see in the scripting. The text is what you see in game, like the actual, what the actual objective is called. So objective one will be kill enemy platoon. And we could just, just to make things easy, do that. And objective two, destroy enemy, enemy howitzer. There you go. Now the tags and everything will show up, but nothing's going to be done with it because I didn't script any of it, but it'll show up in game, those two objectives and the tags are created. So now we go into edit with, and this is where everything starts to go wild. So before we even touch any of those objectives or anything, we're going, we need to create several tags first. And uh, first we need to create a counter tag and this we'll name this uh, objective Oh boy, did I spell that wrong? Objective counter. And that, like it says, it's going to count the objectives. And basically, the, the long story short here, the game is not actually going to worry about whether... They're not going to worry about what objectives are completed. They're only going to worry about the number of objectives completed. And we only have two, so we're going to set that to two, so, but we'll get into that later. So, counter, objective counter, add that, and then we add a timer, objective timer, and then a mission complete. timer so that should be all we need I, I don't know I got a whole freaking thing written down here yeah objectives timer objectives counter and mission complete timer okay then you all right I already created the objectives okay now we script the objectives okay and if you go into tags if you click in tags uh, yeah, objective counter, objective timer, mission complete timer. So all our tags are there, and uh, there we go. Kill enemy platoon, destroy enemy howitzer. So our objective tags are already there because we created them up there. So now we script the objectives. And uh, hold on, I gotta move my mic so I can actually type here. Uh, I can move my keyboard up there. Hold on. Oh, shit, that was... All right. Okay, and then so when we start a block, we can just leave a comment just to make it easier if we need to go back in there. So this is going to be the first objective. Uh, kill enemy platoon. And then the trigger. Oh, hold on. Well, ah, shit. Okay. Just stop. Okay, hold on. Oh, sh I already named it. Okay. Yeah, so you want to name all this stuff, or you can just look up here and get the correct numbers, but naming it makes it easier. So kill enemy platoon. And then a trigger event will be death platoon. All members of platoon have been killed. And you can also do a uh, route, which is they fled or have been killed. Which there is some I've I've messed around with getting guys to flee. It's it's kinda weird, so I think it's safer just to do death platoon. 
just make sure all of them are dead. Then we set enemy platoon, which is this platoon, which are these three guys. There we go. So when all the guys in that platoon have killed, then we go into responses. We go to all the way down to objective complete and set the tag to kill enemy platoon. So mark kill enemy platoon complete in the objectives list. And then it'll do that. And then after that, we have to add a uh, counter increment. And this is where it basically, it counts the objectives. And that's where the objective counter tag comes in. So this objective counter starts at zero. When this is complete, when all these guys are dead, it will mark it as complete and increment the counter of, of the objective counter from zero up to one. So there we go. That's all we need to do for the objective. So there we go. That's that objective fully scripted. And then we do the exact same thing for the howitzer objective. And to do vehicles, it's very similar. Death vehicle, vehicle's been destroyed. Um, there's only one vehicle on here, but you could rename it to whatever you want. And then it's the same exact stuff. Objective complete. And then you want the destroy enemy howitzer for this one. And then it's the exact same thing. Counter increment, objective counter. So there we go. That We have two objectives. And now all we need to do is set the mission to end once that objective counter gets up to two. And that is where things start to get a little wild. Okay, so yeah. So our first thing we need to do is basically start the objective check. And we're just going to do a startup and set this to startup as well. So there, there we go. So as soon as the game starts, whatever we do next is going to happen, which is going to be a timer set. We're going to set the we're going to set the objective timer to 30 seconds. And what that is going to do is that is going to fire the next thing we're going to do, which checks the objective. So it's going to check the objectives every like 3 seconds or something after the initial 30 seconds. Yeah, it's going to, 30 seconds after it starts, it's going to trigger the next thing we're going to do, which checks the objectives every three seconds to make sure the counter is at two or below two. So we'll then we'll set that up, which is where it really gets weird. Okay, so now this is the objectives check. And the trigger for that is the is when the objective timer expires, which is gonna be 30 seconds after the game starts. So this is gonna fire no matter what. So the first, and then uh, the response is where, this, is, this gets weird. So our first response needs to be block preserve because we want this to keep firing until we get the result we want, which is the objective counter to be at two. But it's going to be firing like every three seconds for the whole game. So there we go. We allow that block to be reactivated. Which is the block preserve in the... Uh, in this, it's called block preserve. But it says allow this block to be reactivated. And then after that... Okay. Then we set... Get another timer set response. And then we do the exact same thing, objective timer. And then this is where it checks every three seconds or however many you want. You can have it check every one second, every two seconds, doesn't matter. But I just like three because that's, that's what the game usually does. All the missions already in here. So, so 30 seconds, the objective timer is going to expire. Which is going to trigger this. Which is going to trigger this again. So it's just, we basically got a loop of this firing every three seconds now. And then after that...
Okay, and then we throw in a continue if response. And then this is where we go like three layers deep here into this shit. So we don't do anything with specify. We need to go to query. Go in that and then we uh, compare integers. And then value two is the value we want. So that's the number of objectives. And then equality that that's usually set is equal to. So we leave that. And then for this, we go into query again. We set this to get counter. And then this is where our objective counter comes in. So we set it to that. And then right here, the value of objective counter is equal to two. There we go. That's good. And then continue executing responses if the value of objective counter is equal to two. So there we go. That's how that's done. And that's going to allow us to fi basically fire the end mission uh, timer. And then after that, um, go into edit again. We go to timer set. Then we set the mission complete timer, which is going to, we're going to create a new block, which ends the actual mission, but that's going to be the timer for it. And then after that, we go to block remove to stop the, uh, stop the thing from checking. And that is that done. And that's the objectives check. So it's going to just check every three seconds until the uh until the objective counter gets to two and then it'll fire that uh it'll start that timer that end mission timer and then that that's where it comes in for here so we set uh, timer expired mission complete timer and then for responses we uh where is it Declare mission complete, and then you can type the mission in here, or whatever you want in here. It's That's basically what you're going to see in that little box when you complete the mission, so we'll just put mission complete. And that, there we go. That should work. If we... Hold on, I should save this. Uh... Um, there we go. So now, whether or not we destroy this first or kill these three guys first, it doesn't matter because we just need the objective counter to get up to two, and then it'll uh, fire the end mission thing. And uh, you don't really need to script a mission failed because that's like a base thing that's already in the game. Where if you lose all your guys, it just ends the mission right there. It says all soldiers have been lost. But if you're doing something where you require anti-tank rockets or uh, demo charges, then that you need to script out. And I'll do another video for that under like complex objectives. This is just going to be simple objectives and end mission scripting. But that's I think that's similar. Based off what I've looked at, I think it's similar to the objective checking thing where it does counters and stuff where you... Like, every time you use a rocket or something, or... I'll do a video on it eventually. It, it's, a. Uh... It seems complicated, but once I get it, it'll probably be similar to this, and I'll probably write it down so I actually can explain it. So, yeah, let's test this out. Uh, so we... Oh, I still have to... We have to go to Mission Properties, set it to Single Player... Put... Put in a bunch of letters near the beginning of the alphabet so it shows up at the top. Uh, set our team. Not that it matters. Oh, and for this. Um, where is it? We can. Uh, where is it? Yeah, here at briefing. Anti-tank rockets required and recommended because we have to destroy a tank. And 
doing those options might also play in. Doing these demo charge item, <laughs> doing those ch checking these demo charge ch boxes. Holy moly! And uh, checking these boxes that might also play into um, the scripting of those objectives later. But I'll do a video on that eventually. I I don't have much clue on how to do that right now. There we go. That is working. We will spawn here. We can either kill these three or blow that up. So let's go. And my mod should already be enabled. Okay, quick mission. C C C C. President Arbatov just appeared. Here we go. So there is our. Uh, those are the objective texts. If you remember when we were doing the objectives back in the script, the script tab, and then objectives there was a objective tag and objective text this is the objective text and then the tag i set the tag to the same exact thing but uh auto assign there we go got our anti-tank rockets all the guys set up wait yeah all right oh well Another one. <laughs> Looks like, uh, I think that was, yeah, that was Charlie. That was the M4 firing. Looks like he took it into his own hands there. There we go. Goodbye. That's that objective scripted. And, uh, in the base game, they kind of do it a little, they, it, they make it a little more complicated than it needs to be because as soon as they, as soon as you complete the objective, they add another timer to fire. Instead of just saying the objective's complete right away, like I, like that, so, um, I'll I'll talk about that once I once we demonstrate this. But uh, and there's the uh, tank. Tank spotted. There we go. That's that objective. Scratch one piece of Russian scrap. Mission complete. There we go, and you can you can just script it so it says end mission, but if you do it that way instead of saying declare mission complete, this won't show up. If you do end mission just straight up, it'll this will be blank. But you know if you do mission complete or mission failed, it'll say you won or you lost there. So there we go, and uh, just to it's prove official. President that it works both ways, we will. Uh, I'm gonna go destroy the uh, howitzer first and then kill the three guys. Oh, and this this is a little scary. The how I was I was messing around with this later and I used the howitzer because I knew it wouldn't fire at me, but if it spots you. It, uh, yeah, it just, like, starts staring at you. But it ha it doesn't have a machine gun on it, so you're safe, but it's just a little, uh, uh, frightening. So there we go. That's the howitzer destroyed first. And these guys don't suspect a thing. Wow, <laughs> they didn't even like try. So yeah, there we go. Then we killed the enemy first. Mission complete because both the ob the objective counter is up to two. There we go. And it would just be if you want like four objectives, you would just set the uh, when you go into the continue if command, you would just set the. Uh, you would just set the. You just make this equal to four, or however many, this number right here, you'd make it uh, equal to three, four, one objective, doesn't matter. I don't know if you can go over four in this game, but if you could, it would be the same thing, you go up to five or six, whatever. So, uh, yeah, uh, about the, uh, the 
the way the game itself does it. Uh, so when they, oh no, that's the actor editor. When they do it, so this is the North Island, or yeah, North Island. So they set a timer, and they have like they have like two different increments here. They have increment, North Clear Counter, and then set North Objective Timer to expire in one second, and a Mission End Counter, all in one there. And then, so that goes off. You kill all the guys. Then this timer expires. Which then marks it clear on the objective list, which I uh, you could do that. I mean, it doesn't. I suppose one little second of uh, breathing space in between you killing the last guy and then it showing up makes it a little more professional, I guess. But I don't know. I, it's just easier just to have the uh, the objective get marked as soon as you do it. So, but it's. It's pretty simple. The north... Increment north clear counter. I'm not sure what that's for. Although there's a lot more going on in this. There's like an officer running around and a whole bunch of stuff going on. So... And there's a lot of... Uh, there's a lot of trigger plans which are, aren't pretty hard. They, they aren't very hard to script. But... I could probably do another uh, video on that later, but uh, that, oh, hold on, that is, that is basically how to script a, a simple mission. You could have like four objectives, kill a group of guys over here, kill a group of guys down here, kill a group inside the castle, kill a group over here. Or you could have a, you could have a zone clear command like uh, uh let's see here uh let's you could have like um you could have a bunch of guys cleared out of a zone if you want to have that scripted um let's see if i can do this Proximity, that might work. Okay, well, all right, well, I don't know how to do that zone clear thing, but it doesn't really matter. This is more this is more of scripting how to get a mission complete rather than the objectives complete or how to script the objectives. So yeah, um Oh jeez, almost, oh, almost half an hour. Holy crap. A half an hour pretty much. Um should I I think I'll I'll just read it right off my uh my notes here just one more time just to make it easy. So, uh, you you get your new mission. You go to new, do all that stuff. Then when you get in there, you create an objectives complete counter tag, or objectives counter tag, whatever is going to count the objectives. The objectives complete timer. A objectives complete timer. Uh, mission complete timer tag. And that is all the tags you need for just a basic kill mission. Uh, then you create the objectives up here. Like that, which creates the tags and uh, gets the name in-game. Then you script the objectives. You know, basically uh, destroy vehicle or uh, uh, death actor, death platoon, whatever you need to do. And then in that, you do counter increment and set that counter to the objectives counter you made earlier, which would just be a tag. It'd be under the tag thing. Just like that. All right. Then you do a startup. Do a startup uh, trigger. 
and then set your objective timer to expire in 30 seconds, which is going to uh, activate the objective's check um, block, which is going to create a loop until the objective counter gets up to whatever you want it to. Then, uh, then the objective's check, the timer expired, you allow the block to be reactivated to create the loop. You set the objective timer to expire in three seconds, which is going to fire this, which is going to fire that, and it's just going to go back and forth. And then you do the continue if. And then when you do that, you go into it, you go to query. For value one, you go into query again. Set it to the value. Well, you set this to get counter. Then you set the tag to objective counter. Then you're done with that. Then value two is the number of objectives that need to be completed. And then equality is equal to. And then when you're done with that, you will have continue executing responses if the value of objective counter is equal to two. Or whatever number of objectives you need. Then after that is done, you set your end mission timer you set your end mission timer to expire, which is going to trigger the next block, which actually declares the mission complete. Then you uh, remove block, which it will prevent it from being reactivated. And finally, you do the end mission trigger, which is when that timer expires, the, end, the mission complete timer, it will display, it'll declare mission complete and display mission complete and register a mission completion. So that is uh, all that. Um, it's uh, hopefully I uh, explained it again. Or again, hopefully I explained it well. Uh, there's still a lot to do though, or a lot to a lot for me to figure out with like doing specific objectives and stuff. I'm gonna have to really just dig deep into these missions. But this is a pretty big breakthrough. It took me a while to figure this out. And now I can actually create an actual like mission mission where it's you know, you know where you complete the objectives it'll register an end mission without like the simple scripting of complete this mission complete or complete this objective complete that objective and then when you get to the final objective it just ends the mission because you know if you did everything that way and you put the if you put the declare mission complete in here in the uh, destroy enemy howitzer then you could just destroy that and not even worry about the first objective so so yeah that was a lot uh 34 minutes jeez but yeah uh hopefully that helped hopefully that uh got the point across of what to do and how to do it and i will be back with uh more Igor videos eventually you know when I get another breakthrough like this of just how to do stuff I'll, I'll probably focus next on uh, on mission failures and scripting complex objectives like uh, planting demo charges uh, requiring anti-tank rockets and then how to set those up and also how to fail how to register a mission failed when you run out of those rockets or demo charges. And I'll also look into other uh, objectives throughout the game because uh, not I don't think every single um, objective is just kill, is just death platoon, death team like I have set up. I think there are a lot like zones where if the enemies are not inside a certain zone, it's a mission complete, which I just tried and failed to do. <laughs> but... Just a lot of stuff to look into. But yeah, I'll be back with more Igor and uh, other just, I guess, video games I play uh, in other videos. So thank you for watching if you made it here, and I'll see you next time.